A group of protesters gathered outside the Jacksonville office of Representative John Rutherford this afternoon calling for his resignation. News for Jacks reporter Joe McLean joining us live from the scene of the now dispersed demonstration. Joe, was it a peaceful gathering? Most was a point of contentious a counter if we call him that showed up uh, but he was later ushered away by a JSO the real message by these uh, demonstrators today was a strong call for representative Rutherford to resign and to do that that day an angered group of demonstrators calling for the resignation of Representative John Rutherford stood outside the congressman's Jacksonville office on Salisbury Road, some holding signs calling him a traitor. In every way, he is acting like an enemy of the people. He is not acting like an American representative. Frankly, I, I would prefer he were, would resign. I, I think he should resign uh, as someone who has participated in sedition. The anger, demonstrators tell me, stemmed from Rutherford's response to yesterday's violent storming of the U.S. Capitol by pro-Trump rioters. Last night, after the chaos in the Capitol, Rutherford spoke with News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson about the impending electoral count. Do you still plan to object? To those states where it's shown that they violated their own state election laws, yes. On Twitter, Rutherford condemned the violence at the Capitol and today acknowledged President-elect Biden's win. But demonstrators said, too little, too late. He needs to resign. He needs to realize that what he did was very treasonous to our country and damaging to our country, and he has no business representing the people of America. At one point, contention boiled over when a man who declined to give his name began shouting racist rhetoric. A short time later, he was asked to leave by JSO officers. Just a few Attention there. Reach out to the representative for a comment. But we have that heard back tonight. Reporting live, Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.